Kid for Mike Spence, 34, was performing at the Whitehaven Air Show in Cumbria on Friday when the accident happened. He was caught by Corporal Wayne Shorthouse before they crashed into the harbour. Corporal Shorthouse said he was no hero and both men had been trained for such a scenario. Onlookers at the display said the dramatic scenes had caused panic among the crowd and one describing the event as frightening. It currently comprises 12 serving soldiers from the three battalions of the Parachute Regiment. Thoughts go out to the man's family and friends. In other news, reports of a potential pandemic are spreading wildly across the UK. Yes, the QUIP have stated that thousands of UK citizens are now infected and it's spreading fast. The virus has been said to travel through the air and therefore it is advised you do not leave your... And that was his fifth symphony, composed between 1804 and 1808. Now, we've been having a lot of concerns sent to the studio here about a certain fact that has come to our attention. We want to make it very clear that there is no need for concern and there is nothing to worry about. The fact is that 92% of cross-eyed teachers have difficulty controlling their pupils. The pandemic has indeed spread across the UK with reports of the virus being located in Scotland and Northern Ireland. Experts fear that the entire population of the United Kingdom will indeed be infected by the end of the week. We ask those who haven't yet noticed any symptoms of the virus to please stay indoors. Hello there, sir. I'm here to talk to you about our Lord and Saviour. Have you heard the good news at all? It's okay. I won't take up too much of your time. I've actually stolen a load of rubber inflatables, so uh, I better lie low. The virus has now spread abroad. Multiple cases have been recorded in Italy, France and even Germany. Yes, the QUIP state that anyone and everyone is susceptible. Apart from America, as their inability to comprehend the virus has therefore made them immune. As for the United Kingdom, all hope is lost. You know, I've never trusted stairs. Stairs? Yeah. They're always up to something. 
In other news, one-year-old Yappy the Dancing Dog was described as fat the other day. Turns out he was just a little husky. <laughs> Hey mate, hey mate, you heard about Mrs. Jacobs? She cut off the whole left side of her body. But, but don't worry, she's all right now. <laughs> That would be one pound fifty, please. <laughs> Allow me. <laughs> it is a tough economy at the moment, isn't it? You have to save your pennies and watch what you spend, you know. I recently spent some money for detergent to unblock the kitchen sink. It was money down the drain. <laughs> <laughs> But I can't do it. I don't get it. Everyone is so happy. I've never seen anyone so happy. I just want to be as happy as them, but I can't do it. Do you know why teddy bears are never hungry? Because they're always stuffed.
Breaking news. We have reports just in that everything is fine and all is well. I repeat, everything is fine and all is well. The situation has become clear that the virus was nothing to worry about and it was all a false alarm. There is no pandemic. The only casualty recorded this week was a painter who was hospitalised due to too many strokes. Apparently he didn't have the faintest idea as to why he passed out. Friends and family close to him say he had a difficult time bouncing back after his bungee cord accident. Ha, 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 ha,